Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I made my recent video on my shoes and over the past month I have been ordering a lot more shoes so I have a lot to show you guys but I want to show you my recent purchase that I ordered from them yesterday that just came in today i have the box with me on the floor i wanted to show you guys normally when i do my unboxing videos i don't have the box with me anymore i wanted to show you guys how big this box is so i ordered two pairs of shoes and a purse that I've been eyeballing a while. A purse from their Halloween collection and two shoes that I've just been looking at. I have another order. I haven't ordered it yet, but I have another Halloween order that we have to, if you're doing standard shipping, you have to do by tomorrow or overnight you have to the 20... 24th, I believe. I believe so. So, I ordered this purse. I thought it was really cool. I never really had a purse from them. I've been watching videos of other lovely YouTubers that have purse from Dolls Kill, but I haven't found one that actually grabbed my attention until I got this one that I thought was really cute and then in the back it's like that if you want to uh, pause it and read it I thought this purse was really cute and I got it on sale it actually matches hold on be right back okay I'm back it also matches this. I went to Supercon uh, about a couple weeks ago and I thought it was so cool that they made our badges like this this year. And then right after we were done going to Supercon, Dolls Kill decided to make a Google Bay kind of inspired by Goosebumps. And I was like, I need to have that in my life. It's quite squishy actually really felt the day like it's just really cute like come on now so i have to get my hands on it i might use it next week for halloween who knows oh i'm trying to inside yeah let's do that so it opens up like this go to shoot bag no little drawstrings it's like no pockets or anything just throw everything in there but i think it's pretty cute I'll get some good use out of it for sure. So there's that. Also, I do have some shoes in my videos. I only I sold two of them because they ended up not fitting me. Their sevens were unweird. Some of their sevens would fit me, and some of their sevens would just be way too tight. So I ended up selling two of the shoes because unfortunately they didn't fit me and then i ordered another pair um i got it from makari but i never started a video because those shoes didn't fit me so i ended up selling those pair and then i got another one off makari which also didn't fit so i ended up selling those pair too so i'm a little scared about getting their sevens because i'm a true seven and a half if that's a thing, some shoes don't come in half sizes, so I chanced it trying to get sevens or trying to get eights. I had one that was pair eights, but they also did not fit me. They were way too big, so I had to sell those too. But I'm a little iffy on their sevens or eights. They don't have seven and a half. So. But. Now I have another pair of sugar thrills. Well, actually, I think the other ones was no. My first pink pair of shoes were from Demonia. 
I have another pair of sugar throw shoes, which I'll show you in another video. But I want to show you my second pair of sugar throw shoes. That sugar throws isn't really my favorite brand to shop from because I don't like pink. But these shoes were super cute. And I just had to get my hands on it. They were on clearance. So I was like, um, yes. When I got these on clearance, I think these were the last eights. I'm not sure. I'll leave links to all my shoes um, in my description. But I was like, these shoes are super cute. It has more colors than pink. So I was like, ah, I can wear it with purple. I can wear it to make that blue stand out for me. And I was like, there's other colors on here besides purple. So I can deal with that. But how my friend put it is, it's not like I don't like pink, is when I look up uh, kawaii styles or kawaii fashion, the first color that pops up, or kawaii style room, everything just happens to be pink, which really annoys me because there are other colors that can be cute besides the color pink. So that's probably why I despise the color pink and why I don't put it in my wardrobe. Because I want other colors that are cute that just doesn't have to be pink. But I guess I don't mind the color pink. I just don't want it to be like the most outstanding color in my wardrobe. But buying more pink because I'm a weirdo, and these were on clearance, and these were the last size 8s. So I was like, well, I see these weren't on clearance. They were to the left in these shoes, so it was a size 8 and a size 9. And since they've been sitting on the website for a really long time, I don't think they're going to come back. So I decided to get the last pair of 8s because I thought they were really cute. I don't have a lot of pink clothes, like I said, most of my clothes are more like pastel yellows, uh, pastel purple, uh, just other colors besides pink. I have like one pink shirt, and a pink dress, and a pink hat. Well, it's not really a hat. And then my pink jacket is over there in the corner. Over oh, there, I can check it. But other than that, I don't own pink clothes. So... I'm getting all these pink shoes, but I don't own pink clothes. But I think it's cute. But what came with this that I really liked was attached to the other shoes are the handcuffs that I want to show you all real quick. It's attached to this thing. So, there we go. Take that out there. I wanted to show you guys these handcuffs that go. But look at, look at these! Look at these handcuffs. They're so fluffy, like my cats that shed a lot. This is shedding a whole lot. But, these are the cutest things ever. I wonder if I can make these tighter. So these are supposedly, when I saw the, the demo for these shoes on the website, these were on the shoes. Don't know how you would walk with these on your shoes, but these are little clippy things, so you can take them off and walk with the shoes if you want. I think they're cuter on the shoes than they are off the shoes. So, I guess once you're done zipping these bad boys on, it would look like that. Well, I put it upside down, so I'm an idiot. But, yeah, put up, put up. We're gonna put it on the right way. Boom. See? So this is how it looked on the website. So they were like both strapped on. But obviously you're not going to walk limiting your footsteps like that. But I think they're cute on. Eventually I'm going to find a spot where I can actually model all these shoes for you guys. So I actually want you guys to see what these look like on. And all the shoes I actually own besides the ones that I've shown you and the ones that I don't currently own because after the video I tried them on to actually see if they fit except for the first video where I tried them on on the camera I believe 
but I try them on either before I do the video or after just to see if they fit and if they don't fit and I do like walk around in them so when I eventually do my um when I actually do show the shoes on me I can give a better description of how they feel how long I walked in them what's more comfortable what's not so at the end of me buying shoes for this year I think I'm just gonna buy more I usually wait for the shoes to go on sale before I buy them so far I've only bought two shoes that were full price so it was these pair and then the pink pneumonias from my last video were the only two I actually bought full price but they were around a hundred dollars the most I paid for any of these shoes were hundred and twelve dollars so I'm really trying to stick to that budget of not trying to go over a hundred and twelve dollars and waiting for shoes to go on sale unless they're like saying there's a few left and I'm gonna get any more stuff like that oh the one of the shoes I bought where it says like a few left and they were on clearance and it didn't come back for a while and then ended up coming back like a couple months later back on clearance again but they restocked so however however they want to do it it's fine by me i got them just happened to not fit so i had to sell them but i try not to sell my shoes if i can help it because i think they, they look cool I don't have a real lookbook on the pink shoes, like I said, I don't really have a lot of pink clothing. So I'll probably wear it more like an all-white outfit and then like jazz it up and wear the pink shoes. Or an all-black outfit where I just want my shoes to pop. I don't know. Or just a random pastel outfit where I can wear pink and it still looks fine. Whatever I want to do with these shoes. But I really like the Bell's Kill. There's still a lot of controversy with them. Um, I still like to give people second chances because I want people to take a second chance with me, so why not do that and see that approach with other things. So, if you want to look up videos on the different controversies on Dolls Kill, you can do your research and shop to your heart's content. Or just do what makes you happy. <laughs> but I like their shoes. There are some places where I can try to find similar shoes, but I like it. I like shopping on Dill's Kill. They haven't done anything wrong with me. I did have an order with them, I believe two weeks ago. I ordered two pairs of shoes with them and they ended up being stolen from my doorstep. And I reached out to them, I reached out to UPS. Then they believe that my shoes got stolen. They were able to send me a whole nother pair and they gave me a refund on the shoes that they didn't have my size for. So they're really helpful with me as far as like getting me back to my order, um, responding pretty quickly, emailing me pretty quickly. So I feel they're doing their part to make their company a lot better. But like I said, totally your choice if you want to shop with them or not. But I feel every company is a second chance and I feel they're doing their part to resolve the issues they had in the past. So that is it for this haul. I do have a couple more shoes in my corner over there that I will be doing a video on later, probably tomorrow. Um, Whenever I can get to it, I go back to work, so I usually try to do it on my days off. I only have one day off, so I work six days, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Later, YouTube.